All right, welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and also on YouTube if you're watching this later for our next deck, which is going to be Gruel Frenzy. Um, so uh, we played this deck the other day and did did really well with it, and um, so I'm excited to play it again. The only change I'm making is we had two Electro Dominance um, in the deck that we we talked about a whole lot of how I guess it doesn't really work with Frenzy, even though I was thinking. It was like a cool way to cheat a card from your hand, uh, casting a card from your hand, but it, it doesn't really work. So I took out those two Electro Dominances and put in two more Skargan Hellkites because uh, the Hellkites performed really well. Um, so yeah, what, what we're trying to do here is uh, be able to play a lot of lands uh, with Wayward Swordtooths uh, off of the Frenzies and just kind of have some uh, really big turns with the help of Experimental Frenzy and get lots of mana in play and then start kicking Fight with Fires and activating Hellkite a bunch and all that kind of stuff. So uh, it was definitely a fun deck to play last time, so let's try it again. Um, I do not know who qualified for the Mythic Invitational. I don't believe that that will be announced until Monday, I believe. I believe that's when the official annou announcement is with that. Oh, it is now March. It is the third month of the year. All right, good hand. I gotta remember to to put March here whenever I'm doing those. Let's see, four color discard. Um, and having having like Wayward Sawtooth on turn three is a, a pretty nice follow up to Treasure Map, where we get to um, play Sawtooth on three, play an extra land, and then the extra land can go ahead and scry for our Treasure Map. And we're going to do exactly that. Okay. Got everything good to go for the YouTube channel. Ravager Worm's an interesting one. That could be a pretty decent one. Alright, still don't have... Um, still don't quite have the City's Blessing yet. Those are two really good cards to have on top of the library, though. That's exactly what I wanted, was multiple lands um, on top uh, when playing the Frenzy. I kind of want to keep this right here. I don't want to just draw the stomping ground. So yeah, maybe I just shouldn't even have activated the treasure map. Okay. That's not what I wanted though, was having a lot of other lands. Dang, that's a lot of extra lands. Um... Why are they blocking there? What are you doing, opponent? So I liked just putting a land in my hand because, uh, you know, it's not a very good card. Um, but I guess 
I guess that's probably just not what I want to do. So I could destroy the frenzy and play treasure map, play a new treasure map, scry this forest. I think the, the biggest worry if I do that is if they somehow get rid of my other frenzy from my hand. I don't know what that block was all about. I'll just pass. We're doing just fine. Huh. Okay, so this is not a Sultai midrange deck. It's a Sultai reclamation deck. So they're they're blocking there because they care about their life total. Um, seriously? I don't even know how many lands in a row that is, but it's a lot. That was a lot of lands in a row. was like 11. So we had we had four lands when we played the frenzy. Since then it's been 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11. It's been 11 lands and two land of war elves. But before those so before those two land of war elves I guess it would have been nine. It would have been nine lands in a row because we've gotten forest and mountain like since then. Simic locket. Yeah, we're gonna have a, a crazy turn with frenzy here pretty soon. Um, we do have the ability to kill them with fight with fire, uh, potentially next turn with attacking with sword tooth and land war elves, and then kick a fight with fire. Um, that would probably require me to, to crack the Frenzy right now, though. So if we pay four to kill the Frenzy, then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, I'll just, I'll just keep it there. We don't need to do that yet. So there's 11 lands and two land war elf for our last 13 cards. So this makes it a 12th land. So we pay the four to get rid of Frenzy. We still have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So I can do it. I can get rid of Frenzy and kick fight with fire. Hey, what's up, Yager? Um, like, are they somebody to play a counterspell? It's kind of going all in by doing that. All right, 13 lands and three mana dorks for the last 16 cards now. There's not a whole lot. Like, there's 25 lands in this deck. That's over half of them. Yeah, that's the thing. So, I think the rush would be, like, if they start going crazy with... Um, like, Nexus of Fates and stuff. With them popping that thing, they only have two mana left. Let's try it. I did want a lot of mana. That was 14 lands and three mana creatures and 17 cards. That was kind of crazy. All right, so our opponent's playing Sultai Wilderness Reclamation. That sounds like a job for Cindervines. 
Um, Cinder vines, bane fire. I you know I don't know about the bane fire. Well, I guess I don't. I don't think I really want fight with fire or lava coil. Daredevil. Could do something, I suppose. Give me like a chemistry's insight or something. I don't know. You come on in here. I guess I'll throw this bane fire in here and like a carnage tyrant. Those all seem kind of reasonable. Do I actually want this card? Nah. Do I want two Carnage Tyrants? Another Tyrant over at Hellkite? Tyrant's kind of an easy, or sorry, Hellkite's kind of an easy card to like Frilled Mystic or whatever. <laughs> Thanks, uh, Adopic. Thank you so much. All right, let's let's keep it like this. We have a Jaya mirror. Goodbye, everybody. Got to go. All right, Deck, I'll start taking those lands again now, please. Please. So I'm going to play the Cinder Vines because I want to play that before it gets countered, but <clears throat> that's kind of like the worst card for us to play as far as developing our battlefield Inc with Incubation Druid or Treasure Map being better uh, in that respect. Deck, I wasn't complaining about all those lands last time. I was just saying it was kind of amazing there are so many in a row. I would like some of those lands again now. Thank you. <laughs> Mama just killed an opponent. Probably have the mana to counter the Cinder Vines now. You know, Wilderness. I'm, I'm kind of guessing they're going to go Wilderness Reclamation, untap their lands, be able to counter Cinder Vines. What? Freaking rude is that? That's so rude. And at this this point, like, look at what we have. Like, I I just have to make sure we draw lands. Um, so I just have to play the treasure map over the center vine. Yeah, center vines is a rare. It's kind of weird, right? Doesn't necessarily seem like it's a a card that needs to be a rare. Old Mystic is a great card. Not a good sign that our opponent didn't play a land. Means they have all spells in hand. Um, I, 
I uh, have all of my decks on Stream Decker. It's where you can find all of them, right there. Um, you know, you can like Control F and search for different decks if you'd like. But that's that's where you can find all, all the decks that we play here on stream. Yeah, no problem. Hey, what's up, Gatsby? Happy Friday, Gatsby. Why didn't they just do that Incubation Druid thing on my turn? They had five mana. In fact, I thought they were just going to do that. But now, seeing they spent the mana on their turn, a little odd. Yeah, there you go, Hogs. Yeah, I'm seeing it. Yeah, you good. Alright, we're just kind of sitting back. Opponent's down to three cards. We have a lot, you know, we have a whole lot more cards than they do, but, uh, you know, we'll kind of see if they... Um, See what they got though. Yeah, you know, some Nexus of Fates could could really hurt us. Sure. This incubation druid is huge. So that thing's gonna be a five six? Cost all my treasures, but I don't really need those treasures to be honest. Yeah, I really don't need these treasures. I don't really need to draw more cards. Let's just play this thing that blocks the 5 7 uh, that they can't get rid of. Um, we have like the hell kites in the air and everything. Um, I haven't I haven't played Esper Control, uh, with not the taking turns one. Um, I don't play like the the main decks too much. Um, you know, unless people donate to see them. So, you know, like, there's, I don't really have, like, a video of me playing, you know, Sultai or, you know, like, any of, like, those, those kind of decks. Um. Hydrocrisis is really big. I guess we're we have double Hellkite as our is our best option. Man, them stealing my incubation druid was really mean. That's the card that's winning our opponent of the game by a mile, is this entrancing melody. Yeah, Frenzy and tre and Treasure Map work really well together. Being able to scry the card off the top if you need to like continue going with Frenzy. Um, or whenever you flip over the treasure map, you get a lot more mana. So you can cast more spells off of Frenzy with the extra mana. Um, by getting the extra land with Treasure Cove or the treasures. Um, or if it's just like another land on top that you need to clear, you can use the Treasure Cove to pop a treasure and draw the land into your hand to continue going.
So do I want to... I'm guessing I need the um, the fight with fires back in the deck. Man, Dire Fleet Daredevil would be a great card that we could draw. We could like Dire Fleet Daredevil and Entrancing Melody. Alright, so they just have a another Frilled Mystic. Right, let's try not to have them let them have tons of mana again. Cinder Vines didn't really seem like a very good card. I'm off that plan. I think I'd rather just have Fight with Fires than Cinder Vines. Alright, hopefully we don't get stuck on lands again. Not a great opening hand, but treasure maps are a really good card. So we got got a couple treasure maps to get us started. Yeah, I like the Hellkite. I've been pretty impressed with the Hellkite um, overall, especially in a deck like this where this deck is built around um, accruing a lot of mana. I don't remember what basics they have. Oh, I guess that answers my question. I was, I was say, I was thinking like, what land do I, am I going to want a field of ruin? Um, and I think that answered my question. I guess we're going for a woodland cemetery. I guess trying to keep them off a of frilled mystic is, I don't know. Like I don't know if destroying the breeding pool really helps get them off a of frilled mystic or not. Don't need another forest. Still don't need another forest. Hmm. So. Uh, oh yeah, I have two land drops. Right. So I can still do this and activate treasure map. All right, well, we basically have our hand out on the table. Was I going to have Daredevil next? They have eight cards in hand. <laughs> I have one. Yeah, I need to delete that plug and add in the new emotes. Because I, as you tell, I, I delete, deleted some of the other emotes too. It's kind of hard to delete specific plugs. I have to have like the exact text out of all of that. This should turn on Swordtooth. So I don't think our opponent has Frilled Mystic right now. I didn't really want to play anything this turn anyway. I think they're just holding up Frilled Mystic. I would like to get them down to enough to a big enough range to uh, Bane Fire them. Which I guess they're scared about. Do I want a Daredevil Shimmer possibility? I guess so. Hmm. 
Treasure map and sword tooth are the two cards that I'm considering here. Yeah, I think our opponent really is scared of having the damage, of getting killed by damage. Yep, never have enough maps. Yeah, I've played some Chromatic Lantern decks um, in my day. The, the one that I played quite a bit uh, last format was, as far as Chromatic Lantern deck goes, was a, a team or ramp deck. Um, which I was actually just looking at uh, the other day also. So right now we have uh, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. We have 14 mana available right now. Do I want to start cracking these treasures and drawing cards? Yeah, I guess I do. I don't think just sitting back and, and holding on to them for Banefire is worth it. There, we turned it into a real land. Good. Yeah, they could certainly have find finality and just wanting to put their creatures in their graveyard. Our opponent's keeping our bane fire down. that other one on the bottom, right? Did I accidentally put it on the top? Ah, I accidentally put it on the top. Ooh. That's a card I want. Lands. Dang it. Any more lands? Not spells. There we go. Hmm. Shuffle. Getting a forest in case we find a land war elf here. But King Toll, are you worried about my inability to cast Banefire from my hand now? Because you know I can just destroy the, the Frenzy later and still cast Banefire, but I can use the Frenzy right now to t basically turbocharge my Banefire of like find a lot more land drops. And Theo, you were right. They did jump block with. Uh... You were right. You called it. They were going to jump block with Crisis. They did that. Guess I don't need upkeep stop. I'll just draw this all kite. Our opponent really likes using their spells as, as life gain. Ooh. Do I like seeing? More sword tooths? Have to use a treasure. Mm. 
I'll spend a treasure to cast a land war elf, I suppose. Good. Get another land drop. The mic is frizzing a bit. I, I'm still going to scry. Um, yeah, the sword tooth uh, effects stack. Um, I, I thought that was my last land. I thought that was my third, but maybe I miscounted. I was I was under the impression that that, that was my last land, um, but I'm scrying just to get the treasure maps anyway. So that's what our deck's trying to do, is just get lots and lots of lands and then throw some burn spells upstairs. Um, it did help with our opponent just kind of, you know, spending all of their turns just jump blocking every single turn. That certainly did help. All right, Gruel Frenzy with the opening win. Hey, thanks, lover. Glad you like the tie. Okay, match number two. We started off with a win last league two, and then lost a couple in a row, so let's try to do a little better here. I like our opener. Memorial to Genius. What's that about? Just playing the same matchup again? Hey, what's up, Zerf? Doing good. Yeah, this looks like Nexus, though. Our last opponent didn't really have... Um, they didn't really have Nexus. I thought that they would, you know, with them having the, the Willness Reclamation, but we never saw a Nexus. This certainly should be a Nexus deck. Uh, I didn't quite get the stop on there in time. But that's okay, we got a got a good draw. So that should that should turn on the sword tooth. Start attacking. Yeah, Nexus is only banned in, in the best of one format um, that you can only find on Arena. It's illegal in all the other formats, including best of three here. I certainly want to save Field of Ruin for if, if or when Azkanta is transformed. Good. That Lava Coil is a good card to have on top that we just put in our hand because it's not a, a card we want. Oh yeah, we're going to have those Cyborg Cinder Vines. Those are going to be nice.
Well, it's still a ways away from flipping as Kanta. They have now four cards into the in the graveyard. Or oh, it's five now. Oh, because they just cracked the Moral Genius. That's why. That's their fifth. Hmm. So there is a problem with playing. There's a problem with playing Hellkite here. <laughs> I just noticed like they the creatures had like a little heart on it. It was like an animation for having a little heart on it. I have three uh, three cinder vines in the sideboard. If we cast Hellkite, the problem is is if we cast Hellkite, um, we may not have Field of Ruin for Escanta, and I think having Field of Ruin for Escanta is really important. Um, So I guess I'm just going to scry it to the bottom. Yeah, it's it's really just necessary to have the, the Field of Ruin active. Ah, we would have had the land underneath it. So we would have been fine. Yeah. Just play the spell. So they kept the card on top and flipped as Kanta. So we're doing this on their upkeep before they draw. Um, so whatever that card was on top, they have to shuffle it. They could have, of course, activated as Kanta, but they chose not to, interestingly enough. So now I think like fight with fire is kind of like the card that I'd like to see. They can just uh, go upstairs. Um, it'll be a nice card to to see on top. Dang it. Not exactly right there, though. Because that means I have to draw it. I was hoping it would be like the next card kind of thing. So we may have enough mana to just do the damage here. Yeah, I, I mean, I can pop Experimental Frenzy and throw it upstairs, right? Pretty sure I can. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, we'll have to crack a treasure or two. I guess two. They don't usually play a ton of Planeswalkers. Or, sorry, Counter Magic. That's the word I was looking for. They don't usually play a ton of... Uh, Counter magic though, right? Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Cause I'm not risking it here. I guess we saw a sabotage before. Well, that was a risk. Yeah, I have a Banefire in the sideboard for decks like this.
Um, which is, wh why did you not crack the map first to see what's on top of your deck? And that's when. I mean, I, I just put a field of ruin to the bottom. Before you blew up Frenzy? Oh, okay, I see what, I see what you're saying. Yeah, I, I certainly could have done... I could have... Yeah. I don't... I certainly could have done that. I'm gonna... Like, I'll, I'll be seeing that card before I draw anyway. I don't... I don't know if that really matters. Whatever it is. I could I could cr crack this treasure just so I don't have to hit the resolve button all the time. Be in the crisis where they get another turn after this and have a whole lot of cards and everything. So that's Sinister Sabotage. Got us. Um, I don't know about Tyrant. I mean, really, the, the main thing that, that kind of beat me that game was I didn't play the Hellkite. Um, you know, if I would have played the Hellkite, we did have the land underneath it, but we would have needed the land underneath it to kill the Ascanta, but... Just playing the Hellkite, I think we would have killed our opponent. Um, but I didn't go with the Hellkite, and that kind of cost us. All right, so Coil is out. I'll take Fight with Fires kind of out. I don't think we really need the Fight with Fires too much. Yeah, like Biogenic Ooze. Um, I think we can we can beat those creatures going over the top of these things. I don't think I'm too worried about Biogenic Ooze. So I'll have like one Bane Fire, one Fight with Fire left. I think that's fine. I could see playing the Fight with Fires over the da the Daredevils. I'm not not sold on the Daredevil. Um, best thing to Daredevil is like their uh, Chemistry's Insight to kind of help keep them from doing that. Oh, yeah, they'll absolutely have Frilled Mystic. Yeah. Haven't been playing too much Orzhov Knights, um, honestly. Remember I played an, an Orz Orzhov Knights deck uh, with Seraph of the Scales and Spawn of Mayhem at the top, top end. Uh, yeah, I love having the land war elves and stuff. Just hope hope we draw red mana. Get to an, I like you know I love an, an early experimental frenzy. Perfect. Worked out really well. Good turn four. I 
It's total. Yeah, it's totally banned in best of one. You can't play it at all in best of one. Dang, didn't get the other land drop. Uh, they're already nexusing, but they're... You know, kind of running out of cards here. No Wilderness Reclamation, so that's cer certainly good. Hmm. So they have, like, Incubation Druid can activate... So yeah, I, get, I still get to keep up Field of Ruin, even though playing the Hellkite. And of course, going with the counter because we want to be able to activate uh, Hellkite. A little surprised they didn't just like act, adapt the incubation druid first and then cast that blink of an eye. Alright, just complaining about Nexus in my chat just doesn't isn't gonna do anything. It's just not not productive. So crew and Everybody else, y'all y'all don't need to just keep complaining about Nexus in the chat. Alright. Gotta get the upkeep stop in. Um now, uh, because they, they do get to flip the Escanta here. So, I, I do like doing this upkeep because it forces them to activate their Escanta before they draw. Um, and so, like, where they have less knowledge about what's what their card's gonna, extra card's going to be in their hand. Um, oh, man, my top card's the Banefire now. I don't want it to be my, my top card. Yeah, I, I played the Frenzy instead of adapting the, the Druid to see if, like, the next card down was, like, a land. Um, which I could have seen it being. So I could... Uh, what, blink of an eye? Hmm. And, yep. Of course, one of the last two cards is a Root Snare. Um, so I could like blink their incubation druid. Yeah, we can't kick the blink. Could also just growth spiral, but I don't have any lands in hand. Um, I could just spend this turn blowing up frenzies.
I can also just blink my own frenzy. So I have three, four, five, six, seven, eight mana right now. Um, cost, or wait, that's not what I'm wanting to do. I want to start adapting these things, actually. I think that's actually my best, my best plan of action here with these Hellkites is adapt these Druids. So, so one, two, three, four. So yeah, we have we have enough activations. Or no, it's only four activations. We can do eight damage with all kite next turn. Ooh, a teamer familiar deck. So familiar with all kites. Possible we're dead. They just found a bunch of nexuses. Still, I need one more nexus, I guess. Ugh. Definitely. Guess I did. Guess I just didn't play that last turn very good. I just always had like the card they needed all the time. It's a difficult turn though. We had just so many options. Um, looking back at it, I do think that playing the second frenzy instead of adapting was a mistake. Looking back at it, I think I made a mistake there. And if we would have adapted, we would have only have the one frenzy on the battlefield that we would have been able to blow up, and we would have had our creature would have been able to add more mana. Um, both of, both items that would have been better with the banefire there. All right, so red black treasure map deck. It's interesting. We got a treasure map. Uh, mirror here. Other red cards with activated abilities. Um, none that really come to mind. I mean, there's like Siege Gang Commander, but that that's not, you know, reducing it by two doesn't really help you out too much there. There's probably something that I'm not thinking of. Rowdy Crew? Does Rowdy Crew have an activated ability? I don't think it does. Hmm. I only have enough red mana. Okay, I can't play Phoenix and then also like Coil or Fight with Fire. We're at seven mana. We're two away from kicking fight with fire. Hmm. Coil or Phoenix? Hey, Maskeler. Do 
Yeah, Rowdy Crew should be an ETB effect. I don't think it has an... I, know, I mean, I know it has the ETB effect. I don't think it has an activated ability as well. Alright, so we're one mana away now from kicking a fight with fire. I think gains death touch, but they don't have the mana for it. So one more one more land. And we can kick a fight with fire and just deal like ten to them straight up. Oh no, not the drill bit. No. Yeah, so I originally had Growth Chamber Guardian in this deck. Um, you know, because of the shuffle effect when I was kind of like first building it, but then realized that it doesn't it, it doesn't work real well. Um because you just put the other Growth Chamber Guardians into your hand, and when you know, like, you have Frenzy, uh, you know, putting, like, the other copies in your hand isn't really that good. And so I ended up just kind of taking it out. Because it was, like, before, like, when I was trying to find room, make room for things. This isn't going so good. That was an, an amazing turn for the opponent. You know, not only taking, not only taking my fight with fire, but then also, um, you know, coiling my. They took my fight with fire, killed my rekindling phoenix, and put a three-one first strike on the battlefield. That was just an amazing turn for them. We did draw the land, but don't have the the fight with fire anymore, and so I got punished for not just killing their spawn of mayhem. Um, I mean, any any if you, if you can actually have Zagana, you don't you don't need Biomancer's familiar in play. If you actually get to have Zagana, you're gonna be fine. Uh, Kral for Spawn of Mayhem isn't really anything I'm interested in. It's pretty narrow. It's a, a better, it's a better chance than not that they don't have Spawn of Mayhem this game. I think Di Dire Fleet Daredevil is probably the best card to potentially bring in here. I don't really know what I'd want to take out, though. I guess maybe just Skargon Hellkite to cut off the top end. Maybe some treasure maps. Didn't really seem like we had a lot of time. Yeah, actually, let's trim two treasure maps for two Daredevils. Yeah, that's what we did yesterday, was we played a, a banned Biomancer deck with Resplendent an Angel, Shalai. Uh, it works pretty well. Uh, I didn't have Ooze in the deck. Hmm. Do you love me some turn one land war elf? Hey, what's up, J Jack? Yeah, there's not a lot of mono blue decks. Um, we played against it a couple of times yesterday, but um, it's less popular than it was earlier in the week after it uh, won the Pro Tour, because then. Then it had more of a target on its head, and um, everybody started playing decks to um, to try to, to beat Mono Blue. Um, and it didn't really withstand the, the pressure too well. Acrobat is okay. There's a lot of good two mana cards in the format, um, but that's the thing about it. It's just okay. I don't think it's that special or anything. It's not a card that 
I'd be too excited to put into the de into a constructed deck. Um, it's not bad though, but it's it's okay. It can certainly like do its role sometime. You know, if you if you ever get to trade with like something bigger because of the death touch, that's awesome. That's like exactly what you want with the card. Um, Not really too ready to start frenzying. <laughs> yeah, it's all all good. All good, J Jack. Yeah, it wasn't. You know, we we knew that going in that it wasn't going to be a very good deck, but um, it was it wasn't painful to play. It it worked out pretty well. So unless I want to use two treasures to cast a Hellkite, um, this Lava Coil was my play, so we'll go ahead and do that, save our treasures. <laughs> it's because we named our deck Frenzy, so that's, that's why I've had all these Frenzies. That makes sense, right? Maybe not. Alright, put a counter on this. So if they have Daredevil, and you know if their plan is like Daredevil Coil, I want to make sure my Hellkite's a five-five and it doesn't die to Coil. Yeah. Well, still died to Bedevil, I suppose. Where's some Wayward Sortoots? See if we get a land drop here. Good. This is not not quite turn to play frenzy yet. I only have like a phoenix that just a cast in hand. Ooh, Biomance is familiar with the yeah, with walking ballista. I don't know the exact like I don't know all of the 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 text of Biomance is familiar. Does it say it can reduce it to zero? Or like, does it say on there like, like that it cannot be reduced to less than one? Kind of thing? Like, if you had two Biomance is familiar, it doesn't just make Ballista infinite, does it? Usually those kind of effects say it can't be reduced to less than one. Okay, cool, j -Jack. And, yep, that's what it says right there. This effect can't reduce the amount of mana and ability cost to activate to less than one mana. That's the clause they usually have on those. All right, Carlos84. You can go ahead and pass the turn back. There you go. Thank you. Wrong place for the Hellkite. Wrong place for the Hellkite. I 
like where we're at in this game, though. This is exactly what I want, you know. Turn uh, 7, us being at 20 life, having Experimental Frenzy in play, um, opponent having just a 2-1 a and 3 cards in hand. You know, like, this is exactly where we want to be. So, definitely like where we're at. That's kind of a shocking lava coil. But, anyway, Chris... Thanks so much for resubbing there for 15 months now. So many months means so much hype. Thank you, Chris. All right, we will kill this thing. We'll play this thing. Ooh, play that. Good thing the auto tap didn't hurt me too much. Perfect. Yeah, Experimental Frenzy is great. Sixth up of the day. Okay, um, so there's already a Hellkite in the graveyard. I'll, I'll still just discard this Frenzy. Nice. Vivian's good. Ooh, I should probably... Field of Ruin, that thing. Yeah, so it should be Hellkite that my opponent's getting here. Hmm. Let's just Field of Ruin first. I don't really need that Land War Elf. that. Mm, let's play the life, just in case. Hey, see? Just in case. Look at that. Fortune favors the bold. Spellbreaker. It's a pretty good card. Yeah, I like, I like a girl Spellbreaker. So why not just play the elf? Just one mana. It's useful. It's also good against another Eldest. It is kind of useful, but it's not... It's not necessarily that useful. It would be good against another Eldest Reborn, but, you know, how many Eldest... Elders Reborns, are they really playing in their deck? You know, like two or three, maybe. Like maybe they just have the one. I would wouldn't think they would have like four Elders Reborns. So like they they have like anywhere. I would just you know my assumption here is they have anywhere from like zero to two more Elders Reborns somewhere in their deck. The chance of them drawing it out of you know just really really low chance of like an Elders Reborn being a, a draw and so that wasn't really a consideration. I wanted to find more impact cards. Um, because the thing is, like, with our opponent going for the third chapter of Elvis Reborn, I'm thinking they're putting in Hellkite into play on their side. It was what it was the card that I thought they were going to be putting into play was Hellkite. And Land War Elf, not necessarily a card you want against against a Hellkite. Um, and so that's what I'm kind of thinking there. Alright, so we play this. We can still activate... Well, that's good. I say we can still activate Hellkite twice, but let's just go with this. Hmm. So I, I can kick it and just do... I guess we can kick it and win. Yeah, I guess we just kick it. We'll do one and nine. We don't really need to kill there, Phoenix. We can just do one nine, put him to three. Attack with both of these. They block one, the other one kills him. Uh, 
All right, game three. Okay, still like where we're at. Well, do I want so do I want Daredevil instead of Treasure Map? Yeah, I'll take the Daredevil. Hey, what's up, QQ? Happy Friday. I don't necessarily think the playing the elf was really that bad, but Treasure maps are awesome whenever the games go longer. We saw, like, the first game that we lost, our opponent had a more aggressive start, you know, with, like, Spawn of Mayhem and, and things like that. Um, I think that, like, I'm, I'm more worried about losing a, a quicker game than winning a longer game. And Treasure Map helps us win the long game. I would not be, yeah, I would not be upset at all to have the Treasure Maps in here, but I, I don't think I really want it over anything else. Um, why no explore package? I don't know if, I don't know if it's really too necessary. Um, it does take up, you know, a ton of slots and I guess it would take, I guess you would play it over treasure, treasure map and, um, and like the two mana, mana creature, uh, incubation druid. I kind of like those cards more. Turn one elf. Next turn we can have, you know, Sword Tooth play a land. And then play a couple more lands frenzy. Ooh. Ah, still doing this. No, my sword tooth. That was like my whole plan. Yeah, that's, the, that's one of the hard parts of Magic. You know, you only want to play 75 cards. And a lot of good options. Um, especially whenever you have more and more sets added uh, to the format. Alright, Frenzy, you can outperform some treasure maps, right? Right, right little Frenzy? Right, little guy? Do I want to play another one? So I don't really have any other option. I mean, the other option is just to draw the Frenzy. Um, I mean, I could just bust up this Frenzy, play a land, <laughs> draw this one. It's kind of a waste, though. I did, I did not, yeah, I did not play a land yet this turn. So I could just bust this one up and then play a land for my hand, and which which that allows me to next turn play this other land for my hand, play Incubation Druid or Lava Coil, depending on like you know what our opponent plays, and then play New Frenzy. I think I I think I like busting up this one more than playing this one. The the only problem is we've seen drill bits from our opponent. That's like the one problem. Well, no, because we're going to be drawing this one, so it's not even in our hand. We don't even have to worry about drill bit. They don't. They don't play Mortify. They're not. They're not uh, Mardu. They don't have any white mana. I mean, Treasure Map obviously can make white mana, but they don't. They're just a red black deck.
Because, yeah, they could have their Rekindling Link Phoenix here. Uh, Spawn of Mayhem. Still another thing I want to coil. All right, so we got to play this. Get to coil that. Get to play this. And still have the Frenzy down. So all good. I'm laddering with Divine Visitation Selesnia, and every time I get hit with Duress turn 1 or 2, they freak out and take the Visitation only to die to histories they could have taken instead. <laughs> nice. I think that I think that worked out pretty well for us. Um, with, you know, with our frenzies, I, th I think that worked out kind of better than just playing the other frenzy. I think. So we have one field of ruin to destroy one one of these tre two treasure coves right now. Kind of seems like our opponent's debating whether or not to use a removal spell on Incubation Druid. Yeah, that's that's what I'm hoping. Yeah, I don't think our opponent has an answer to Frenzy, and so hoping that just Frenzy can bury our opponent over time. Um, so, you know, we just have to be worried about them playing Flyers or, you know, things like Spawn of Mayhem. The treasure maps will certainly keep them in, in it for a while. Um, you know, the game's not over, but... Uh, Frenzy is certainly the most powerful thing that either of us have going on currently. Alright, I'll shuffle that Frenzy back. I guess so. I guess I can bedevil. Daredevil, bedevil, Judith. Um, can't really do both of those and. And adapt the druid. Oh, I can Bedevil map, can I? Bedevil to kills artifacts. Ooh, I like that. Yeah, I like that. Nice. Great call, press any. The old Daredevil the Devil play. <laughs> and I don't want to use Treasure Map until after we draw, you know, I want to be able to reset stuff with Frenzy. <laughs> wow, what's a problem? Run. A chase. Don't no fire. No steel. That one's a problem. It's a you know, a lot of loyalty, a lot of damage. To start doing some attacking. All right, not as much of, as a, of a problem anymore. So we're going to have to give the Hellkite haste, though. Take out Angrath. Um, 
So I can... I can just fight with fire, kill this... Uh, kill this Judith, but then the Judith is going to kill one of the two Llanowar Elves. Whichever Llanowar Elf they kill, we'll use to scry with the treasure map. And then we'll have like the other five damage we'll be able to take out Angrath. Yeah, Anger Dragons are great. And I'll just put this forest to the bottom. Yeah, I don't really mind drawing a, a land. I don't really mind drawing a spell either. You can kind of draw anything. Hey, we've got a new sub, Inglewood Jax. Make all sail for high and dry. Welcome to the stream, Inglewood Jax. Glad to have you here. Sub number seven on the day. Okay. Theater of Horrors. Oh, I guess, yeah, it's not, that's not like Experimental Frenzy. They don't get to just start playing cards right away. It's not that good. Ooh. Man, Swordtooth Frenzy is sweet. We're gonna describe the fren this frenzy to the bottom. Haste dragons have been staples in standard since the granddaddy of them all, Rorix Bladewing. <laughs> oh, those are some great cards as Biomancer's familiar. Duskwatch Recruiter. And Eldrazi Displacer. Whew. Especially Displacer. Yeah, those are both awesome. I mean, that's just infinite creatures if you have... Um, You know, Familiar plus Displacer plus a Drowner of Hope. You have those three in play. You get infinite creatures and infinite mana. I guess it could have been a Land War Elf on top. I just attacked this Land War Elf. This, this could be, I, I suppose this could be a Land War Elf here. It was not... All right, Girl Frenzy taking down Carlos eighty four. Two and one. This deck's fun to play. Experimental Frenzy is just a pretty fun card because you're like, what's this next card going to be? Ooh, I'll play that. What's this next card? Ooh, I'll play that. What's this next card? Ooh, I'll play that. Yeah, Experimental Frenzy is a fun card, especially with Wayward Swordtooth playing multiple lands turn. This is a fun deck. And we've done done pretty well with the deck. Overall, last time we played it and this time, it's felt like a pretty good deck. So yeah, if you want something different, something pretty fun for like FNM and everything, this is a good option here. So tre treasure maps, uh, perfectly fine. Turn two play, so we're keeping this with the treasure maps. Even better. Hey, happy Friday, Thunderbeard. Got our bones. Hmm. 
I'm not sure if I need to coil gutter bones. I think I'd rather just start scrying with treasure map and looking for some impactful cards. Um, if they're playing Marty with gutter bones, I'm certainly expecting like Judith and Midnight Reaper um, as cards I would rather lava coil. <laughs> Science plus dinosaurs. Have you learned nothing from Jeff Goldblum? That's yeah, kind of what we have here, I guess. Experimental Frenzy and Wayward Swordtooth. Science and dinosaurs. That should be the, the real name of the deck. Science and dinosaurs. So the easy play is just to play treasure map with the mountain, mountain treasure map. But then if we do that, we're likely shocking in next turn for Rekindling Phoenix. I don't know if I really want to shock. I, I'm thinking about just playing the, the stomping ground go. Oh, whatever. Play our treasure map. We may just Lava Coil next turn instead of Phoenix. I'm That's a good thing to lava coil. We're kind of dying though. This looked a lot better the previous turn than it does now. That Tajik was a real good card. Because if they have removal for this Phoenix, we're in trouble. Uh, we're already in trouble anyway. I need to play both Phoenix and Swordtooth, honestly. I think that's worth it, just to be safe. I'm going to use all these treasures. I'm playing the, the Swordtooth first, so I have all these permanents on the battlefield to, to turn on Ascend. If I only use two treasures, I have to shock with the Stomping Ground, and I don't think that shocking is gonna be too good for us. So that's exactly seven. Exactly seven. Dang. So I think, I think, I, I mean, you know, hindsight's twenty twenty, obviously, but I guess my, my big mistake there, that whole, that game was just not, if I just use the the Lava Coil on turn two instead of playing Treasure Map on turn two and just kill the Gutter Bones immediately. I think we save a lot of life, um, potentially, and I think we'd still kind of draw into the Phoenix to have like on turn three or turn four. All right, so Cannonades are coming on, on in. And that's kind of all I have are just some Cannonades. Um, Trim two treasure maps and one hell kite, one fight with fire, one fight with fire. You were so focused on whether you could, never stop to think if we should. OK. 
Okay, there you go. Timely reinforcements and heroic reinforcements. One saves you, the other kills you. That's a that's a really good point. I never really thought about that. Yeah, timely reinforcements. Um, awesome card if you need to gain some life. Heroic reinforcements. Awesome card if you need to deal some damage. Hmm. And they're both just reinforcements. So this hand kind of sucks. It's basically like the same hand as last time. I still don't think it's a mulligan, though, but it's not... Not a hand I'm very proud of, or happy with. Are there any other reinforcements cards? Why no Dire Fleet? I don't think our opponent's really playing spells for us to dire fleet except for like you know the aforementioned heroic reinforcements i guess we saw a cast down um i guess maybe dire fleet's just a, a good blocker oh, there is a card just called specifically reinforcements it's a one one white instant put up put up to three target creature cards from your graveyard on top of your library You can put it on top of your library, then Vi Vivian tick up. Get it back in your hand. Oh, sorry, Ca Coffee Master. I missed your, your thing from earlier. It says, hey, just wanted to say I've been having a blast playing the Grixis Legends deck in competitive traditional. Awesome, Coffee Master. Cool, glad you're, glad you're liking that deck. Are you liking Judith in that deck, or do you think that Judith should be um, either Rona or Izareth, two other three mana legends that could maybe replace Judith in that deck? I know I wanted to try Judith with RNA coming out, but I haven't been uh, super thrilled about Judith so far in that deck, and I could certainly see replacing it with one of the other two. Yeah, I can get you two. Yeah, Cryo. I can get you two. And so cool. Last last deck slot should be for today is good. Awesome. I have you up there. Yeah, if you got another one, let me know. I don't think our opponent's purposely roping. I think they I think they disconnected. Um yeah, I mean, I, I just think they disconnected here. Okay, yeah, I think I have the, the Thought Erasure Kaya's Wrath version. Let's see, what do I have? Yeah, I have I have your Yeah, I have your most up to date list on, on that link. Uh, if you updated that link. It has Thought Erasures and Kaya's Wraths. Yeah. No, yeah, I certainly think our opponent disconnected. Oh, they're back. It's possible our opponent's hand's not very good. Um, you know, it seemed like... Like they were just kind of stuck with the hand. It just automatically kept it for them. We need more spells. So 
scrying on upkeep, and if it's not a spell, you know, if it's a land, put it to the bottom. Land goes to the bottom. Yeah, go ahead. That'll work. Yeah, so that's kind of the problem of, like, Field of Ruin here. Yeah, I wouldn't mind, like, Field of Ruining. Um, but I also don't want to... I don't really want to put any of these cards back into the deck. Wrong with Field of Ruin with Treasure Cove. There we go, that's good. Good card to draw. Um, so, kind of debating of like what I want to do with like maybe adapting the incubation druid and, and casting the casting the lava coil. Um, we're gonna sit back, so I can use two treasures to adapt Incubation Druid from here, which I guess that's what I'm gonna do. Just play the frenzy first before anything else, or do I wait a turn? Or do I like do I like crack the treasure? Hmm. I think I want to just play the frenzy before anything else. Got a hell kite. All right, that all worked out pretty well. Okay, there, there she is. We got another donation from J. Jack Jr. for a for a green red deck. Let's see, one, two. I don't want to kill this fiend here. Nah, I'll just block one of these. Okay, so green red creature deck, Dovin, or Domri's Vivians. Immolation Shaman. That's a card that has an activated ability. Deck, where are all these lands doing? Yeah, certainly blocking. I was just debating on what deck t what uh, to to block. So this we go to three here. Just getting that thing out of here now. Okay, we need we need something here. We're looking at lethal. 
for the opponent's sake. Oh my gosh. That's crazy. What a disappointing game. Just so many lands. So that's even with putting these other lands at the bottom. That's 14 lands there. 14 lands. Ah. I mean, so if we would have not blocked the pinger, we would have been able to go to one if we would have blocked this thing. But then, like, we're at one and they have a pinger. I don't think we really survive. We just needed, you know, a creature in those top, you know, like, what, like, six or seven cards? I guess, like, what, six cards that we saw from, like, those two turns? Like, we saw, what, like, three cards a turn? No, that's too many cards. We didn't see that many cards. Maybe five cards? And they were just all lands. Yeah, after the we had the Hellkite, played the Llanowar Elf, played the... So after the Llanowar Elf, it was just a bunch of lands and another Frenzy. But... Um... Yeah. This deck's still, still, you know, a good deck and a fun deck, you know, but just... You know, kind of bad variants in Magic. It's kind of just happen sometimes and so you know we took a, took the loss there um i don't think it's anything you know i don't want to just throw jade lights in the deck just because of like that that game for example um i i like where the deck is uh the aggro like that aggro matchup is is definitely not you know, like that's not a good like a great matchup for us that mardu aggro um that's not a great matchup for us uh per se but you know, sometimes games don't go your way. It's the thing about Experimental Frenzy. Sometimes it doesn't go your way. Um, other times it's great, though. So, there we go. All right, so that was Gruel Frenzy. Um, so, of course, if you're watching this later on on YouTube, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And thanks for watching. I'll see you for the next video.